right, Tyler, here too. So talk about, you went through freshman year last year um, as a true freshman, kind of a learning curve. How much easier is it for you this year now that you it's, that? It's, it's night and day, you know. Last year I just remember staying on my playbook late every night and just being out there like everything's going 100 miles an hour and now the game has slowed down for me so much and now it's more about like, now I know what to do, so it's just about going out and performing rather than having to worry about what I have to do than like get in the depth on my routes and all that. So. It's, it's, it's a lot nicer now. How's it feel being one of the veterans on the team as a true sophomore on the wide receiver court? It's definitely uh, a little different. You don't think of a true sophomore as a, like, a guy with a lot of returning experience, but like we, we got a young core. So I just, I've, taken, I've taken that like, upon myself to step up as a leader since we don't have a lot of returning experience. So talk about the, the wide receiving uh, unit. How do you guys feel going into the year? You've got a lot of youth, a lot of inexperience, but there's a lot of talent. Yeah, I'm, de I'm really excited about our group. You know, this summer, uh, I'd say our guys showed like a lot, showed one of the most improvement out of, out of like a group of guys. Uh, we got, like everyone stepped up and then we've got, we've got guys that have, that have played and then even like a guy like Nelson Spruce who, who redshirted, but he got, ex he got experience, he knows the plays and he, he played, he got uh, all the reps with the ones in the spring. So we have guys that know what they're doing still. What game on the schedule are you looking forward to this year? Game one, see the CSU game. You know, it's just I want to get out there and play again. And what are your? You're a tall guy, six five. Six five. Okay. So how do you use your height as kind of an advantage when you're going up against uh, smaller DBs? Uh, it's obviously you know if the quarterback uh, throws it up there, he's got he's got like a wide radius. I got a wide catch radius for him to take a shot, and then just I use it to my advantage off the line too because uh, tall receivers tend to get pressed a lot. So. Uh, I don't have the quick. I might not have the quickest release, like a guy like Keenan or someone would have. But I use my my long arms to my advantage just to knock the DB's arms down. Very nice. Well, I've got to ask you because you're from New Mexico, right? Yes, sir. Park? Albuquerque. Uh, I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan. You watch really? it? Really? Yeah, I've actually. Uh, I wasn't into it, and then it's on Netflix now. So I'm. Uh, I got to season three in like a week and a half. I'm. I'm pretty excited. My my high school is actually. Uh, they used my high school to film at the show, so it's it's pretty cool seeing that on there. That's awesome. The places I've eaten at, so it's well, pretty sweet. It gets even better, so yeah, keep yeah. watching. You'll yeah, it. I'm pretty excited to finish it up. Very nice. So what are your expectations for yourself this year? Um, just progress just progress with my second year in the offense. Uh, this this offseason, I was able to put on some, finally put on some good weight and then just get a lot quicker and stuff. So I just, I just want to go out there and just make plays. Very nice.